Yummy. Giant, that's a giant insect, man. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to see the size of the freaking spider, but I'm too curious. Let's go into the creepy spider cave. <laughs> What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to our wonderful little ape colony in Ancestors. Today it's going to be Generation Jump Day because I believe we have the max reinforcements right now which is four. Uh, you can actually see there's two on top of each other there and I'm actually holding two kiddos right now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that real quick before we do anything else because there's no sense trying to evolve further if we don't have enough reinforcements to save said evolutions. So, uh, I believe if we go to uh, the reinforcements, yeah, we can. We only have three right now, so let's hope we have enough XP to get one more. We're going to learn the carrying ability if we can. And there we go. So this is the ability to carry items using both hands, which should be really, really helpful. I think that's going to be max. I don't have enough XP probably for the next one anyways, but we can try. Uh, ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, come on! Oh, it was so close to connecting, but no, definitely not. Okay, so that's fine, because we can only save four anyways. So we may as well save these four and move on to our next generation. So, time to change the generation, and we are going to say yes to that. And here we go. I was really hoping we could uh, find some random apes in the wilderness to join our colony before we did this. But I think we're going to be stable anyways, and definitely today we'll try and fix some of those apes up and bring them into our colony. Another thing I would like to do today is possibly move. I'm a little worried this place is a little small for a big population. Now, I have looked at some other places as well that we could possibly call home, and none of them are actually looking that great. So... Hopefully we can find something. Where are all my apes at? It's a little worrisome. And before we do anything, we should probably make some more babies. So let's try and get that done. That way if we lose Ka, for example, we won't lose her baby making. I think Ka's a female anyways. I could be wrong on that. No, I, I am a female. So we got Gak as well, who is a female. Do we? Oh, please tell me we have a male. That would be really awful if we don't. Um, P's a male, there we go, but family related, so that's going to be an issue. Now, are you family to him? We are gonna have to maybe find some more males, cause uh, we're in breeding like crazy right now. And no, at least these two we can. All right, so we're gonna do that. All right, and I decided to pop out all the babies right now. So we were lucky enough to have two males and two females that were not related. Uh, so obviously we didn't inbreed at all. Now I'm going to take a risk. We're going to take two babies today. That means double the XP. The thing I'm worried about is if... Actually, let's grab a stick uh, before I forget. But if Mama dies, I only can control one baby. So I'm assuming if Mama dies, I'm going to lose one of my babies. Definitely not something I want to do. But I do want to get that XP. I want to get as much XP as possible. So I thought we'd try the old double baby strategy today and see what we can do. So goals for today, as were in the last episode, I want to figure out how we can get these damn apes. Now, a lot of you guys said the first ape was possibly poison. So I'm going to head down to the palm trees down here. Uh, we should be able to get a coconut. We got to crack that bad boy open. And I know that's one way to deal with poison. So if we can find an ape that's having the same issue... Hopefully we get lucky and that happens. Then we can deal with it by giving them the coconut. At least hopefully. Actually, I wonder if I can do it with my hand. Am I, am I strong enough? I'm going to try and rip it? Oh my god! Okay. I, I forgot I have ape strength. I thought I was like, I can't do that in real life. But then I, I realized I'm not an ape. Okay, so what am I doing? Am I just going to rip this whole thing open? Well, there's the shell itself. Maybe I'm supposed to do this. Okay, what is this? Stripping cocos can be modified. Uh, we discovered that. Okay, so at least that's good. We're going to switch hands and then examine that. Uh, so we're gaining lots of XP right now for these little babies, at least. So, yeah, now we got a food. Coconut. Now, can I eat this? Uh, no, obviously, we still need to break it open. So what if I alter it again? Can we do anything now? No, there's, there, there's no ding. So I'm just kind of awkwardly, like, doing hand gestures now. This is weird. Oh, wait. What the? I'm literally right by the waterfall where I was. I was just over there. There's a freaking monkey here. Dude, please tell me I can I can give you this. Hold on. Um, which hand do I hold it in to give? Come on, buddy. Let's try this. Oh, I tried to give him my, uh, my stick. What about this, buddy? 
No, okay, so if I can open this up, though, I'm assuming we can help this guy out. So let me actually... I didn't realize this little guy was here. All right, dude, please tell me this is what you need. Because, uh... I spent a long time making this thing, so come on, there you go. <gasps> he took it. We're good! Okay, it's all about the coconut milk. Yeah, drink it, buddy. Come on, join my colony. I need you. Uh, all right, befriended a hungry outsider to have a new clan member. Oh, he was just hungry? So I didn't have to go make a freaking coconut. Oh, man, okay. Well, let's, um, are you, are you, are you gonna follow me? Oh, man, look at that. All right, actually, what are you? Are you a male? Because we need actually males. Oh, it's a female. Well, she's fertile. That means we're going to get more babies, at least. So that'll be six for the next generation. That's good. All right, come on. You're literally right by the colony. I don't know why you just didn't come up here. So what? She was right behind me. Where are you? Oh, no. How did I lose her? She was in this tree. What are you doing? Get down! Jesus, lady. Come on now. Where are you going? We're going in this tree. Okay, I have to keep my eye on you. I do not want to lose you. Come on. You, you clearly are not in a rush to be saved here. All right, please tell me you're at least smart enough to jump. That's all we got to do is jump, lady. So, come on. Come on up. What the heck is she now? She was literally climbing. What are you doing up there? Lady! Are you serious? Okay, come on. This way. Down. 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 Down, lady. Over. Come on. This way. Jesus Christ. Just come over. Wait, where are you going? Just jump. Ah, this is so frustrating. Oh, my God. This is, this is, this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to control her, I think. I honestly don't think she's going to be able to come up without me controlling her. Oh, you're going to climb the tree again? No, you're going on the ground. I'm going to have to control you. Come down. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. This is, this is a nightmare. Okay, I I was thinking about moving my colony, but the thought of having to deal with like ten of these, that is a dumb idea. Okay, we're going to um, analyze. I can't control her. I really can't. Oh, I, I can't control her. Okay, switch. Okay. Well, the problem is, I'm gonna have to somehow connect back to this monkey. No, that's not gonna work. Oh man, how am I gonna bring this damn monkey up? Because I can't switch to this monkey unless I'm in viewing distance, so I'd have to bring another monkey down. All right, come on. Um, let's just find... There's got to be a way up. I mean, you can usually follow this vine from what I've found, but i got to find the start of it, which is this major one up there. Oh, my God, she's not even coming up the vine. You're not even coming up the vine? How the hell am I going to bring you up? We're going to have to rock crawl. I don't think there's any other way. Lady, where did you go? Oh my god, this is my nightmare, man. Are you really not gonna climb the rock? Is this my nightmare? Just come up. Why is this so hard for a monkey to do? Okay, you know what? I have an idea. We're gonna tell them to wait here because they're they're the dumbest ape possible. And I think I have a solution on how we can get her and bring back both monkeys. So let's get back to our Humble abode, Jesus Christ, it's taking me all day. Look at this, it's nighttime. It is freaking nighttime right now. All right, I went on the wrong tree. This one's the good one. Okay, and now that we're back, we gotta use a baby. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, you can rename these guys? That's pretty cool. Maybe we can name them after you guys. Um, please tell me I can control them. Analyze, what, I can't control a baby? So un un unless mama dies, I can't control the babies. I'm going to end expedition just out of curiosity. I think that might have been for the adult monkey. Oh, wait. Wait, are we just bringing her here now? Oh, well, that's not how I wanted to do it, but I think we just brought the other female here. We should have three females now, if I am correct with that. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six adults, I think. And then a bunch of elders. Now I can switch. Yeah, so I can't switch to a baby unless they're back. All right, well, I really hope that mother came here because I'm very confused now. Did I really never look at this? Of course I didn't. All right, so another zone that I forgot. We got a landmark discovery, though. The Cliff Cascade. Uh, so this is obviously where we've uh, done many tiger fights before, right at the river here. I uh, thought we'd go unlock this. 
and yeah, we got another landmark that we are that we know is right by our base because the further we go, uh, from what I've seen, you actually can't see your base location. So if we can remember these places, at least we know where our base is as we go further and further through this game, deeper into the jungle. Obviously, we can move our base though as well, which we probably will do sooner or later. Actually. You know what, let's go check out this place. I do like having a nice river around my base. But let's go check out this uh, possible home spot. I mean, you can, you can make a home wherever you want, but generally you want it at these places. Uh, it's looking like there's actually not much up here. Yeah, so obviously I'm not going to move until we find a good place with lots of food. That's the one thing I need is lots of food because if we don't feed those guys, they will die. And if we don't have enough food to feed them, uh, then we'll have uh, a bad time. There is a couple trees here, as you can see, but definitely not enough to keep these guys busy. Whoa! Okay, got out of the way. Got out of the way. I was making a damn bed! Well, clearly, we're not going to sleep there. Ah, uh, damn it, I lost my damn pokey stick. Ah, uh, it was down there because I was making the damn bed. So, yeah, I was going to go to sleep uh, and try and stay out here so we could go further into the jungle because I kind of forgot to get a full night's rest at home. Oh, well, that's convenient. I found another pokey stick. Maybe I should fight him? Is that, is that the one that's damaged? Yeah, you know what? Screw you, buddy. I want to just sleep here. I don't want to go all the way home. So, where the hell did he go? Oh. Well, that, that's a death zone, so is that... Oh, that's that's a dead hominid. Is that me? That must have been where I died last time. So clearly, I probably shouldn't go here. Seriously, you just you just screw off right away? All right, well, I, I have a weapon now. I'm very tired, as you can see. Let's go back. Build quick. Build quick. There's tigers around. Okay, there we go. And... Ooh, do I do this now? So I don't want to... Settle. I just want to lie down. All right, let's take a risk here. Can they get me as I sleep? That's the question. And bam, we're done. We're fully rested. And it's one in the morning, so a nighttime run. This should be fun. Oh. Got him. Oh, please tell me you're dead. Oh, god damn it, man. How many sticks do I need to just poke in you damn guys? Okay, grab and switch and grab... Okay, I'm coming for you. Where the heck did he go? All right, there he is. There he is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and kill him. God damn it. I want to try and skin a tiger. I'm so sick of these guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Jesus Christ, you are large. Okay, did I? I lost my stick. I could really use that stick. Don't really want to get it right now. God damn it. Is it I don't even see it. Well, we, we have a branch here that we can grab. This is dumb. I should not be doing this. It's just a stick. It's not worth it. Yes, it is. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, so back into the unknown. We've been, I don't know if we've been this far, but we've been here before. But as you can see, like, we got question marks everywhere. So I'm going up for this top one. I just want to get out of the, the swamps, really. So obviously going up is a good indicator that it's probably not going to be swampy there. Oh, fear zone. Okay, let's, um... Try and inspect some stuff. Uh oh, is that real? <gasps> Got him. Okay, Jesus, get the hell out of here. Let me learn. Okay, this is not going well. Okay, I'm trying everything I can. If we do it this way, it might be better. I'm still very much learning this. All right, you know what? Let's get out of the zone for the time being. I need to go make an another stick. Okay, I found the light. Now, I know it has to do something with the bottom left big circle. I think I conquered it just by analyzing a bunch of stuff. And yes, conquer my fears. There we go. I figured it out. So all those black smoggy things that are around, if you analyze those, slowly that white bar on the bottom left, or the white circle rather, will build up. And that's exactly what happened. And then after a while of exploring, you'll find a new white circle that you can conquer your fears at. A little confusing, but we did it, and my god, where the hell are we now? Okay, this is a beautiful river, and I could probably use a drink, so let's go down there and check it out. All right, not so horrifying looking now, is it? It is beautiful here, man. If I could settle here, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea, uh, because we have to start thinking about going deeper into the woods, because uh, obviously we're not going to be at the same spot forever. We're just going to eat everything there. All right, so get some water in me. Have a nice little break. And uh, maybe we can get some random resources here. There might be some new stuff here. Usually there is in the, in the new biomes. Oh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? 
Oh, you're you're definitely not a dead branch. Is this you? Okay, so now I've, I've been just uh, IDing things here. Clearly the tiger snuck up on me. Thankfully I'm, I'm in a tree. He doesn't like to climb at all. I can't, oh, that's the one with the stick in him. You know what? I'm taking a huge risk here, but wait for this. Got him! Oh, I killed him! Yeah, there we go! Stab him! Jesus, that was relentless. Dude! Okay, relax. This is too much. This is too much. Don't get me wrong. You've been attacked many times, but I mean, I guess you can take out your anger. We did it. We freaking killed a tiger finally. Okay, what do I do? Inspect? Let's inspect it. Yeah. Yep, that's a dead tiger right there. Okay, I'm excited about it. Thank God. New gathering spot. There's a gathering spot? All right, obviously we can grab the meat off of it. Um, altar. What am I altering? Oh, this. So, I don't know. I'm assuming that's what we need the, uh, the one stone tool for. I don't know. The blade, I think it was called. I'm just going to drop this because it's in the way. Because, yeah, there's no way. Maybe, you know what? Let's just drop this. Maybe I could take a giant tiger home. You, you never know. We're not going to be able to do it. Oh, actually, crap. Oh, damn it. I got, I, got, I got excited thinking that was it. So, well, we killed one, and we know we can definitely use its meat. It's just how do we extract it? I'm thinking it's one of those blade tools. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus, I walked over to the pig and there was a snake too, clearly. Okay. Damn nature. Oh my god, it's coughing up blood, seriously. These cutscenes, man. Sometimes they're overly grotesque, because, like, we just beat a freaking tiger's head in, too. Because, yeah, this right here, it's all technically disconnected because of the river, I think. So as long as we kill anything that's already over here, tigers will not come. And look at this. Like, it's literally under the cliff. This is beautiful, actually. What, what, what do we got here? It's kind of a, a little watering hole. Oh, what, what was that? I, I heard something weird. That was weird. This is our first cave. Ooh, do we got spider eggs? It doesn't look like I can grab those. What do we got here? Granite? Okay, granite's good. kind of want to see if we can take any of this spider egg stuff. just want to steal your, your, your feeds. Oh, I can actually take it. Interesting. Inspect. I wonder if this is, this is obvious, obviously spider silk, right? Or is it... Oh, it's a trapped insect. So I thought we were going to we were gonna use the spider silk. Maybe to make even rope or something. But no, we're just going to eat the gross insect. Well, you know what? Let's try it. Yummy. Giants. That's a giant insect, man. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to see the size of the freaking spider, but I'm too curious. Let's go into the creepy spider cave. <laughs> All right, kids, we're probably gonna die. Just warning you. Can I? What's this? Ooh. Well, that's mushrooms. I don't know if we should eat. I, I'm still very much scared to eat any type of mushrooms. Uh, all right. Well, that wasn't a cave. I thought it would be. On the other side, it's quite beautiful, actually. I'm actually curious on on the map size of this place. All right. You know what? I think we're gonna head back for the time being. I'm thinking. What do you guys think? I think that we should call this our our home. After uh, maybe a couple more generations, because this is a really cool place, and I do like the uh, the new stuff here, like this cave. And this is food for us, too. It didn't actually get me infected or anything, so we have meat that we can eat. We obviously got plants everywhere, too. Looks like lots of uh, room for bedding. I don't know if we can drink this water. It's, it's stagnant, so I generally wouldn't, but just out of curiosity... I do know I have access to other water if we need to. And no, it, it's actually totally cool. So we have a water source, too. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good spot. All right, there's one more zone kind of deeper on the way back. Our town is somewhere... Our town. I mean, we shouldn't really call it a town. Our hub is somewhere over here. Uh, I thought we'd check out this one, too, just because it's on the way back. And uh, maybe we can get one more fear zone completed. Okay. Hi, Snake. How's it going? You just do, do, do your thing. Whoa! I have no idea where he is. Oh, it's right in front of me. Oh, damn it! Damn it! That's not good. Okay. Well, I know I need coconuts. Coconut trees. Coconut trees. Coconut trees! I see them! Oh, God. Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to last here, kiddos. We're going to need to get these things open quick, and I need a rock to do that. Hopefully, we can find one of those really, really quick. It's very hard to see, obviously, and it's turning nighttime, of course. All right. Grab that. Jump down. Okay. And grab. Alter. Okay. Damn it! I can't hear it because of my sickness. Just don't break it. Just don't break it. It's okay. You bastard! 
Oh, wow. That is just bad luck. Where'd my coconut go? There it is. Come on. Drink. Drink. Drink it. Drink it all. Oh, God. How many coconuts am I going to need? Of course. Of course. I, I, I almost got rid of it, and that wasn't enough. Please tell me there's one more in here that I somehow missed. I think... Are we, are we really this unlucky? Oh, there is one. I have literally one chance. Oh, please. Okay. Woo, I did it! Just gotta dr drink it. Drink it! Oh, we saved it! I can't believe I did that with one coconut to spare. Talk about lucky. Woo! Oh, yeah, that's right. We were gonna ID one more spot before we went home. Uh, before I got attacked by that snake. So we'll do that, too, if we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry! Oh, man, I don't want to have to do this. Screw up. Screw up. I don't want to have to do this. <gasps> you bastard. I tried to get up there. That's what I had to do. It's all your fault, dude. Just because I don't have a stick anymore. Well, it's actually... Wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I didn't ID this. I didn't ID this. Wait, I did. It must not save all the time. Just uh, depending on the monkey. I, or maybe I died with the monkey. Oh, this is the big swamp. Last time was the little swamp. So maybe... It connected into the big swamp? I just assumed it was all the same. Well, that was easier than expected. We didn't even have to conquer our fears. Okay. Oh. Well, alrighty then. We are in another fear zone. Interestingly enough. I could really use a stick, I feel like. Alright, there we go. See, we got these black ones here. The more we do this, the better. And it goes away. So, I'm figuring it out finally. It's only taken me, like, what, three episodes? And, of course, I'm tired. Okay, there we go. We conquered already. Wait. So, we just got out of it? I'm so confused. A snake. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Damn it! Oh, okay. Well, abandon ship. I need to get out of here. God damn, it's hard to see, man. I didn't even realize I was... Well, I, I knew it was a snake, but it was a moment too late. All right, let's, uh... Oh, my God. Seriously? Where did I get a stone from? God. Now, this deals with, uh... Oh, wow. I need to sleep bad, I guess. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I'm dealing with poison right now. Sleep is the last thing I, I'm thinking about. All right, I'm gonna grab... Oh, my God. Really? Are you serious? Did I just lose a monkey? All right, no. My, my monkeys are good. Monkeys are good. Okay, jump a palm tree? This is not a palm tree. I can't even freaking see anymore, man. Well, worst case, we lose an adult that's already had her kids, but I am gonna try and save her here if we can. So, let's just drop these kids off. Actually, you know what we'll do? Um, I think I'll switch to another monkey here and try and do this a little bit quicker. There we go. Okay, got the stick. I will be right back. Please don't die. I'm gonna try and save you. Oh my god, I totally missed that jump. Okay, and why are you tired? All right, um, trade items. There you go. Eat it. Eat it! Yes! That should hopefully fix it, I'm thinking. Okay, let's actually just switch. Are you good now? No, you're not good. That was not enough. That that was literally not enough. Okay, you know what? We, we have... Let's just do it this way. Oh. Actually, we must have survived out of it. Okay, we're fine then. I was going to just use the coconuts then, but uh, clearly we're totally fine now. So, whoo! That was a close one. Two snake bites and run, one run. You gotta love it. I am I am actually so tired, I'm, I'm taking damage. So let's have a lie down real quick. And just rest it up. You, you deserve it. Whew. Okay, let's go take a rest and see what we unlock today. Because that's the exciting part. We did a lot today. So we should get some evolutions. We can see our XP is maxed. Uh, so I guess we probably should have came home a little bit earlier. Look at this. Look at the brain sparking off everywhere oh my god i unlocked so much that is ridiculous now the question is where do we go i'm curious about that one so let's do that we're gonna learn that one first and fight response the preparation speed for a counterattack is increased that's actually good i probably will definitely get that one and look at that we're unlocking even more the more we go out this is absolutely crazy this isn't this is another fight upgrade uh, it is. Actually, you know what? I'm actually really curious about the fighting in this game, so let's just keep going here. We got lots of XP anyway, so we'll be able to see quite a few of these. Because, uh, yeah, group defense. Clan members have the ability to defend themselves during an attack, provided they have an effective weapon on hand. 
Okay, that's good for if we are traveling, moving our group. We definitely want things like that so they can defend themselves because uh, we're going to have a lot of death if that's not the case. When connected, it will be possible to ask a particular clan member to approach. Not really sure what that means. Let's go down. We haven't done much on this side, so senses, uh, intelligence. Ooh, that was... You know what? I'm curious about intelligence, so let's go see what these ones possibly do. Now, we're using a lot of our XP, so hopefully these things are worth it. Form recognition. Automatic identification of resources in the same nature close to the target is possible. So, it's a good way to get multiple resources in close proximity ID'd really quickly. Nothing crazy, though. Uh, that's definitely something that's helpful, though. You know, this one's close, so it shouldn't need much XP. So, we'll just do this one real quick. Um, automatic identification of non-threatening smells of the same species near target is possible. Okay, so this is making life way easier, which is good. Pro perception. A greater distance can be traveled while moving on two legs. Okay. Well, that's actually really good as well. Um, because I was told by you guys that the XP is better if we travel on two legs and our dexterity improves as well or something like that. Oh, was it going to reach it? I think we're good. Okay, it is now possible to ask from a distance some clan members to ha come closer and follow. All right, well, that's helpful as well uh, that we're increasing our communication distances. Uh, I don't think we're going to get many more of these, so self-control. Let's not just out of curiosity what self-control mean. Tachyopsia, whatever that is. The margin of error is increased during attacks because more time is allowed. Okay, well, that's actually really nice. We, we have faster response and more time. Uh, we are officially out of XP, by the way, so let's go make the babies. We have one more female who needs to make babies, and then we're gonna move on to the next generation and walk some of these in, because they're actually really good and should make our life way easier. Okay, and there we go. We got lots of babies around, which is a really good thing. I was getting worried our population was getting too small, now, with six reinforcements, we're gold, and we can actually save the majority of these things, which is really, really nice. Um, so, I do like the margin of error. We're going to keep that one. Prep speed for counterattack is increased. We'll keep that. Let's keep this. Is this a stand-up? Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep that. Uh, now, these last ones, it doesn't really matter which ones. They're all decent, but nothing too crazy. So, we'll get body language. What's this one again? Group defense. Uh, being that we're not attacking in groups right now, I think we'll keep that one away. Uh, let's get form recognition and uh, ordent chemotopy, uh, which will make life easier for IDing things. And we're going to change generations because that's all the kids we can make, and that's the max amount of upgrades we can get. All right, probably going to be lots of dead bodies around now. We got dead guys everywhere. Yeah, you can see all the bones lying around. The more we hang out here, the more bones are just going to be everywhere. Uh, but yeah, now we got a really good population, though. Uh, lots of adult monkeys ready to go. Six of them, to be more precise. So I don't know if we can overpopulate ourselves, too. I don't want to, you know, make a crazy-sized colony, at least for right now, until we get more food. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments below. One more thing. You guys said I should ID. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, actually, get babies first. But I've never ID'd our home location, and we actually can. So we'll do that when we make some babies. All right, but that was another really productive episode of Ancestors. I'm going to go now. Technically, I believe we can evolve whenever we want. So if we go to evolution here. Uh, oh, it actually says ready one. Um, what does this mean? Okay, so I can actually evolution le evolutionary leap with this jungle master explorer. Still very much learning this and ready for. All right, still a little confused by this, but I was told not to evolve too early. So I'm definitely not rushing into the evolutionary stages. That's when you jump thousands of years. Um, I think we still mu very much have to learn some more before we do that. Mind you, we're getting a lot of things locked in now, which is good. And the more babies we have, the more we can lock in. Uh, I think we'll wait until we get the majority of these dots done, and then we might evolve to the next generation. Because it looks like we can now, uh, considering we've done some of these. We can actually do expand ones, and then evolve ones. As you can see, I've done a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, if you guys know anything more about this evolve thing, when I should evolve, let me know in the comments, because uh, a lot of your tips have been helping me out a lot. But yeah, like I said, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ancestors. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.